Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly forecast for April 19th to the 25th. I apologize my darlings, I know I've been inconsistent with the posting, there's been a lot going on. I will be talking about it in the podcast, podcast is coming up, but we're coming into consistency again with more regular posting. We're going to see what's happening in the week ahead for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And we're going to do a couple of more quick shuffles here. Sagittarius, I'm getting the number seven around you. Okay. When I see the number seven in a reading, it's telling me that your angels and your guides are really trying to communicate with you right now. And they're really communicating to you through your intuition, but you're doubting your intuition. And so you're being asked to listen to it, to listen to that little gut feeling. Your gut has figured out what your eyes haven't seen yet, what you haven't had the proof of yet, okay? You have to listen to your gut. And that's what uh, the message is when I see seven, okay? We're going to look at the cards and see what the cards have to say. We'll probably elaborate on that message a little bit more. But I do want to let you know you got to listen to your intuition. Six of swords. So you might be sensing or feeling that a situation is not good for you. And that it might be time to kind of get a fresh start or break away. Six of Swords is wanting to get away from drama. Drama, toxicity. Uh, I feel, unfortunately to say this, and it might not be true for every single one of you. Uh, but I feel some of you are like in this really weird cycle with a person. Where like they trigger you, they set you off. And then they're like, aha, see, look, I told you, Sagittarius, I told you you have a temper, or I told you you're really, you know, unpredictable, or I told you that you're irresponsible, or whatever it might be. But like, they keep pushing this button, you know, like they just, they keep pushing this button. And it's like, well, how, how do you expect that I'm not going to react when you keep like poking at me? Or when you keep pushing that button? How do you, how do you expect me not not to be that way, right? So some of you are realizing that a situation, you don't like what it's bringing out of you. You don't like the way that it's making you act. You don't like the way that it's making you feel. Uh, and you're just like, yeah, this isn't a good situation. So I do feel like some of you are realizing that um, you're in this cycle where like it's triggering you, you're reacting, and then they're like, you know, shaming you for reacting and you're realizing you know what it's not that there's anything wrong with me but if I want to try to heal this aspect of myself or if I want to work on my temper or if I want to work on you know some aspect of my personality I got to get away from the person or the situation that keeps triggering it right if you have a bruise on your arm and I keep walking up to you and I keep punching you in that same place that bruise is never going to heal. How can it? How can it heal if I'm up in your face constantly, you know, hitting you where you're already hurt? So some of you are realizing it's time to disconnect from a situation that is not allowing you uh, to heal or, you know what it is? I feel like a lot of you are trying to get your life in order and it's like you can't because of this person or situation. I feel like something is not only draining you emotionally, but draining you financially. And you're like, I can't. I can't do this anymore. So there might be like a desire to get away or just kind of disconnect from a person or situation because it's just bringing way too much drama into your life. The next card here is the Three of Swords. And the realization of that might be making you kind of sad right? It's kind of sad because Sagittarius, I feel like you're in a very loving heart space. And I feel like you're in the heart space where you're wanting to do the right thing and you've been making sacrifices. And a lot of the times the three of cups is got, not three of cups, I'm sorry, the three of swords is going to come up when a truth is being revealed to us because we've been making sacrifices uh, to people and situations uh, that, uh, just really are not uh, doing the same for us. They're not doing the same for us. And so sometimes spirit wants you to uh, see that you're making sacrifices. You're making certain people or situations a priority 
that they're not doing the same for you. And so for some of you, I, I'm sorry to say, but this realization that, well, this person is triggering me or this person is putting me in a cycle or you might even hear that this person is like talking behind your back or something. And you're like, you know what? Like I've been sacrificing. I've been doing my best like to be there for you uh, or or to be helpful. And th this is th this is like, no, 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 no. Like you're not making that sacrifice anymore. The, the universe is giving you permission to go your way and to do what you need to do for yourself. Okay. I feel that a lot of you have been working to be selfless and that's a beautiful thing. But when we're being selfless to people who don't deserve it or situations or companies that don't deserve it, that is revealed to us. And I feel that's what some of you are, are coming into uh, in, in the week ahead. You're being shown the truth. Your next card here is the Knight of Cups. Okay. Now, I know a lot of people are used to watching tarot readings about love and romance, and they see the Knight of Cups and they have a certain uh, impression of what the Knight of Cups means, right? No, I don't mean that some of you are dealing with a player. That might be happening for some of you, but this isn't a love reading. The weekly forecasts are not about love and romance, it's about all other areas of your life. Okay. Um, so, in other areas of your life, the Knight of Cups is going to be the spirit of pursuing beauty, pursuing art, pursuing inspiration, pursuing the things that make your heart smile, that make you happy, finding comfort in that uh, lightheartedness, finding comfort in the beauty that surrounds you and that's all around you. Okay, I can tell you this, those of you who've been struggling financially and you feel kind of blocked maybe like in your root chakra or in your heart space and you are wanting to come into just an energy of being able to receive, receiving, receiving, receiving. One of the first things that happens when you're blocked and that becomes unblocked, one of the first things that happens when you're unblocked is you begin to notice beauty. It's the most interesting thing. Uh, you will be like, oh my gosh, I never realized how beautiful the traffic lights were on the bus ride home. I never realized how pretty those uh, uh, green uh, blades of grass were growing out of the cracks in the sidewalk. Uh, you know, I never noticed how, you know, j j j just in little, little everyday things, you begin to see beauty, you begin to see inspiration. And so... I do feel that a lot of you are healing through creativity and just like you're having this awakening where your surroundings are looking different to you, right? Colors are looking more vibrant. Uh, food might even be tasting better. This is all a part of your opening up to receive. I, I hate to say it, Sagittarius. I hate to say it, but I feel some of you have been in this cycle where you've constantly been feeling like, like you have to make up for existing, like you're some kind of a burden and you have to make up for the fact that, that you're here by giving people things or, 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 or like working your butt off or jumping through hoops and you don't owe anybody anything for being here, right? You're a child of God. You're a child of the universe. Unconditional love is your birthright you know, existence, you have a right to exist, you have a right to be happy, you don't owe anybody anything for that. And so I feel like some of you have been around people that have made you feel that way. And you're coming to the energy of no, I deserve to be happy. I deserve to receive I I deserve to enjoy the fruits of my labor, I enjoy to I, I deserve to enjoy nature and and, and just life. Okay, so I feel like you're coming to this energy of like giving yourself permission to enjoy life. And it might start off very simply. Like, oh, I never noticed how pretty that color was. I never noticed how pretty those traffic lights were. I never noticed how delicious an apple is, you know, or, or whatever it might be. But you're beginning to open up and receive. Your next card here is the tower, okay? So the tower is bringing me back here to the three of swords. Like you're being shown the truth about a situation and it's being removed so that you can live your life and be in your peace. 
And I'm going to be very honest with you, Sagittarius. I feel like the Tower card for many of you is not necessarily um, like a blowout or a fight or an, or an event or, or getting fired. I feel for the majority of you, the Tower card is more um, the element of the paradigm shift when we see something we hadn't seen before. But I feel very specifically you're seeing it about certain people in your life you're like whoa this person's been manipulating me or whoa this person whoa some i'm starting to see some true colors here coming out like i just feel like there's people in your life that you're never going to see them the same way again and i feel that for some of you this is within family okay where all of a sudden if it's your sister your brother your mom your dad your grandma your grandpa who, your aunt your uncle whoever you know, we kind of see them as like aunt or uncle or brother or sister or mom or dad. We don't necessarily see them as a person. But I feel like you're having this moment where like your mind is blown. Where you're seeing them finally like if they weren't related to you. If, if you had met them for the first time and they were a stranger. Or if you were dealing with them as like a, a co-worker or something. You're not seeing them from the aspect of family you're seeing them from the aspect of like a person a, just just a human being a character personality and you're just like well i some of you aren't liking what you're seeing i want to pull clarifiers here around the tower card why is the tower card here please please show us clarifier one please show us clarifier two Please show us clarifier three. I normally don't pull clarifiers in the YouTube videos. I do pull clarifiers in the private readings. But I know the tower card freaks a lot of people out. So we're going to look at clarifiers. Five of swords, burning of bridges. Burning of bridges, power struggles. Knight of pentacles, staying focused on your goals. Uh, what you want to do, staying consistent to your path. Uh, not letting people... Uh, break you uh tear you down or uh take you off your path staying focused one foot in front of the other seven of cups seeing through the illusion but seven of cups for me is also a card about figuring out what you want right this burn is bridging uh this this bridge is burning you're moving forward and you're you're getting more focused on what do you want what do you want to be your focus because whatever's been your focus maybe is not going to be your focus anymore uh because you're being you're being encouraged to uh move on and to be in a situation where you're not being made to feel like you have to jump through hoops all the time the next card here is the page of cups wow i just got chills okay i know the page of cups can indicate playfulness like being playful it can also indicate the beginning of the summertime uh but uh the page of cups for me when it comes up in my readings has a lot to do with the heart chakra opening up where we're opening up to receive right we're opening up to receive and so that's confirming that message to me sagittarius a lot of you have been blocked where you've been giving and giving and giving and jumping through hoops, but you haven't been receiving. And that's getting unblocked. Spirit is removing from your life the people and the situations that are making you feel like you have to make up for existing, that you have to jump through these hoops and bringing you into the energy of receiving. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to have fun. You deserve playfulness. You deserve to receive. And that's the element that you're coming into. You may want to check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks those may resonate more. They may add a little extra information. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. Uh, if you go to calendly.com slash amethyst angelite, you can schedule a private reading with me there. Uh, if you're looking for more like love videos, those will be linked in the description as well. Those of you who book a private reading with me, I am I'm begging you begging you begging you please take a moment to make sure that the email address you give me is the email address where you want your reading sent and please make sure there aren't any typos okay because if there's a typo in your email address I'm not gonna be able to get it to you I'm gonna have to wait for you to you know come at me like hey you never sent me my reading what's going on 
I didn't have your address. Thank you for emailing me. Now I can send it to you, okay? So just make sure, because I know a lot of people have more than one email address. I've had that mix up too, uh, where they're like, you never sent me my reading and they're emailing me from a completely different email address. I'm like, I don't know who this person is. I don't have anything under this email address. Then I got to go figure figure out who's who and oh, okay, well, you gave me a different email address. So please, please, please be sure that you give me the email address where you want your reading sent and that there aren't any typos. Okay, my darlings, thank you for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Take care, my dears.